serious membranes. I'm serious. We're learning about membranes. Previously, in a video, we learned the four types of tissue membranes, mucus, serous, cutaneous, and synovial. This is, this is focusing on serous membranes because we had a video talking about body cavities, those spaces in the body, but then we created with the walls these serous membranes. The way we describe them is first either visceral, parietal, but then also what organ we're referring to. Visceral is referring to if I wrapped the membrane directly over the top of the organ. So like plastic wrap or saran wrap. When I wrap the heart directly, that's visceral. Because we're talking about the heart, we call it pericardium. So visceral pericardium. The outside layer that's continuous with visceral, so it's all one continuous membrane, but the outside that helps create the rest of the cavity is called parietal. So we're referring to the heart, parietal pericardium. What I create between those two layers is a space. In this case, in between there, I would have the pericardial space with a fluid, pericardial fluid. That fluid's helping not only with the nourishment of the tissue, but if my heart's gonna beat three billion times over my lifetime, it reduces that friction within that space. When I refer to the lungs, it's called pleura. So same concept, directly on the lung, visceral, creating the rest of the cavity, parietal. We do a lot of things in the body related to pressure. On the left, what this is trying to show you is what is a collapsed lung. And a collapsed lung is when I broke the lining between visceral and parietal, and it decreases the pressure. When we breathe, a lot of it's based on balancing pressure. And so when I go in between those two layers, if I was stabbed in the lungs, I would get a collapsed lung. So that's what that's showing on the left. The other term you will see is peritoneal. We learned the digestive organs and our reproductive organs. Those are encapsulated with peritoneum. So we call that directly on the organ, whether it's liver, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, visceral peritoneum. Creating the cavity of all of that is going to be parietal peritoneum. So visceral and parietal are two membranes that are continuous together. And then we add the term next to it, depending on which part of the cavities we're referring to. In this case, the picture is showing for the heart, pericardium, for the lung, plural.